because he has a bird's eye view and a bird nest for a haircut. He should have told you. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Last week, we had two terrible, terrible videos, but that's okay because we can only go up from here. We have two park videos today. Let's jump right into it. First one's called Jack Leporati Clips Play. 2020 Fat Man Clips, it says. 5-0 across and less fat 2021 clips. I'm reading the description. Starting off with the flat bar, then he does the uh, front three. Big spin, uh, disaster to 180 out. Grind across, back 180. So far, no big complaints. Not too much roll up, not too much roll away. Quality seems okay. We're not gonna ding him on the lack of nose slide there because it looks like it was meant to be sort of a nose bonk. We got the uh, front three shove a second ago. Geez, these tricks are going by too fast. The front three shove, he avoided the tic-tac on purpose, you could tell. Mixing it up really well here. Oh, heel drag right there. I don't know if you thought I was gonna miss that or what. Rocket heel flip on the way up. Blunt heel flip, that's a tough one. I appreciate he's mixing it up with all the different obstacles, right? We got some transition, we got the curb, we got the tricks over this little bank right here. Also, um, we got the different stances. We got the fake inward heel. We got the regular stuff. It looks like he gets a little bit wiggly on some of these tricks. We got a circus trick coming up. We're gonna let it slide because he landed bolts. I do appreciate how fast these tricks are coming. Another little rocket heel flip, kind of a repeated trick there. Big spin heel. I appreciate how fast the tricks are going. That definitely required a redo. It doesn't even give me really much time to talk, that may have also needed a redo. And uh, finishing off right here with a laser flip. Overall, very few things to complain about. The heel flips were a little bit rocket. We had an obvious heel drag, but what did this guy do correctly? He kept the tricks coming over and over. <laughs> we started off with a jack and now we're keeping them coming. Oh man, it's Ninja's sexual review. The tricks were just all over the, <laughs> the tricks were all over the place. Uh, didn't really get as much switch or nollie as I would have wanted, but maybe he's not good at switch or nollie. As far as the tricks being rapid fire, we got a lot of tricks, not too much roll up, not too much roll away, decent quality, not too much to critique here, other than maybe clip selection. He could have left the extra rocket heel flip out or maybe just redid the varial heel flip. I refuse to believe you didn't feel your heel touch the ground. Let's watch that again, actually. Right here, here we go. Oh, rewind. That is an obvious heel touch. And this kid got a front row seat. This guy, if he was your real friend, he would have told you, because he has a bird's eye view and a bird nest for a haircut. He should have told you that your heel touched the ground. Other than that, excellent video. I really enjoyed it. Next video is called Ninja Review 2021 by Colton Fuller. Play. Here we go, a little varial flip, body varial, front disaster, I don't know, man. We got the speeding up here, not gonna waste my time, I like it. Little U-turn, foot on the ground, hopping around. Uh, camera's kinda far away still, a little bit blurry here. Front grind. So, so far we got some transition, we got some rails, we got this ledge, we got no foot on any bolts ever. Um, was that an underflip? Oh, this, oh, this is terrible. We already know this is terrible. We already know, I think that was a fakie like tray flip, but it was an underflip, I believe. And right there, that pop shove, it did not go into a 50-50. A weird early grab for no reason. Some odd shove it with maybe like the back foot wrapped around. I'm not really sure what these tricks are. Maybe he just has really weird style. Early grab. So uh, he's doing the same tricks you would do if you were like five years old. So that's nice that he never bothered to progress. I bet we won't get any switch at all. I have a feeling. It's one of these weird like superstitions. If you see somebody doing early grabs, you're probably not going to get anything switch or nollie. 
it's unlikely. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's unlikely. We got this kid just doing the shooting star, fucking star spangled banner, grab the board and lift it up. There was that, that back wrapping foot. We get a pop shove it where the rail just happened to be there. So really no reason to, to obtain any balance if you're not actually gonna be sliding at all. And that, that also looked like an underflip. I'm not sure, that might have just been a tray flip. It looked like his front foot just jumped out of the way. The pressure flip to 5-0 was awesome. This little spinny dude with the short shorts is, uh... Oh man, you know, this is, this is what happens in a small town. This is what happens when you don't have any exposure to, to good skateboarders, you know. I, I hate to be a hater, way too much roll up here. Grabs the board, doesn't know how to ollie, flips it with his hands, grabs it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not impressed. Maybe you guys are. Is that it? That's the video. Here's the thing. When kids start skating like this, and there's other kids at the skate park, and they do these weird tricks, and the other kids go, wow, that was really cool. But you're getting that advice from someone who's never skated. They just think the idea that you're on a skateboard and that you kind of like went into the air, that, that type of motivation breeds skateboarding like this. And who am I to say you're not allowed to have fun? Sure, go out there, have fun, do your early grabs, but be prepared that if at any point, I'm not saying you will, but if at any point you wanted to take skateboarding serious, I want you to be prepared for the repercussions that you're going to have to deal with when you meet real skateboarders. When you take your first trip to California and you're acting like a fucking goofball like this, I want you to be prepared for the bullying that's about to take place. Sure, I want skateboarders to have fun, but come on, man. What is this? I feel like I'm back at King of the Groms. If you guys don't know that reference, then that's probably a good thing for you. So I think this was my favorite trick, and I want to figure out what was going on here because it flipped like a tray flip, but look, it looks like his back foot goes under and under flips, which I don't know, the way that he landed it wasn't terrible. Still pretty impressive. I mean, sure, it could have been better, but let's be honest, that's a trick that you pretty much, I was going to say you rarely see, but I'll go ahead and say it. You never, ever see someone do a grind and then a tray flip under back foot flip anyway so that was my favorite trick of the video there's just um when you do <laughs> when you skate in a certain way for old schoolers like me it just it makes it less fun to watch when you got to see the skateboarder bending down grabbing the skateboard flipping it around it's um it's it's just me being biased it's me basically being a hater. So I do want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. What could he have done better? What could he have done worse? And I'm I'm really I'm trying to hold back right now. I don't want to I don't want to say anything negative because guess what? What if he keeps doing this crazy stuff and then progresses to the point that maybe he's so good at it that he's surpassed the the lame the lameness of this and transcends into something better. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to be a little bit of a nicer guy. I'm in a good mood today, and I don't want to tell you guys how to have fun on your skateboards. I'm mainly just here to help you guys realize when you drag your toes, when you drag your heels, um, and when you could be filming videos better. Overall, I think this video could have been filmed much better if the filmers would have taken a small step forward. This clip right here is framed really well. But if we go forward a little bit, ah, this one's also framed really well. Let's go to the banger. You're way the fuck out here. You're just some little ant in the air, flipping your little board around with your little ant hands and grabbing it and putting it back under your little ant feet. Too far away. What do you guys think about this video? I'm trying not to hate, but I do want to hear your guys' thoughts. Also, which video do you think was better? That's all I got for you guys. I would love to review more videos of you guys. Would you like to submit a video? Well, you can, and it's easy. All you have to do is find me on Facebook, type in Ninja Lifestyle, or find me on Instagram. Send me a DM, and in this DM write, this is for Ninja Review, and then put a link to a YouTube video. Make sure it's HD, and please, God, 
don't ever use a terrible lens like this. This is bad, it's terrible. I couldn't even look at these tricks. I just turned my brain off when, when the video looks this bad. This is what fish see. That's why they're so dumb. They're always just biting hooks with fake worms on it because they can't fucking see. This type of skateboarding, I can't see. Get a better lens. Anyways, make sure your video is HD. Uh, send it in a DM. I check those DMs about once a week and I can't wait to review more footage from you guys. I hope you're all having a great week. Make sure to subscribe because we also upload other videos on this channel, not just Ninja Review. We do a lot of other fun stuff. So check that out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Kuna Matata. In the arms.